Hello everyone, this is PJ Anderson and this is Two Minutes with PJ. The date today is January 13, 2016. The message I have today is about sacrifice. If we go into the book of Genesis, we will find out that God told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. Of course, Abraham, to prove that he was obedient, did take Isaac, tied him up, put him on the wood, and was ready to slay Isaac and burn him and kill him. Well, Abraham was stopped. And by doing that, uh, he was obedient and he was rewarded because he would have many generations. Now, Isaac did represent a form of Jesus, and Abraham did represent a form of God. Now, if we continue on, we'll find out that what happened in Exodus, when the Israelites were allowed to leave Egypt, just after the Passover, they were to go ahead and celebrate. They were to go ahead and put a sacrifice there, and that was to be a blemish-free lamb. And the sacrifice would represent the freedom from Egypt. Now, of course, Passover did represent a form of Jesus also. What happened is uh, that lamb that was sacrificed there, this would be the lamb, Jesus, who would be sin-free and become our final sacrifice. We know that in the book of Matthew, we find out that Jesus talked about if somebody has a problem with a friend, maybe in an argument, and they come to the temple to sacrifice. Jesus told them their heart needs to be right. And in order to do that, they had to resolve that problem before they put the sacrifice in the temple. Paul knew in Romans that we would we could not free ourselves from sin. That God had a better plan. And what God's plan was to send Jesus, His only Son, to become a final sacrifice for our sins. And Jesus did become that man, was sin-free, and He became the final, blemish-free, lamb sacrifice. So today, what are you willing to sacrifice? Do you have to sacrifice? If you sacrifice, are you sacrificing for from your heart? As I said, Jesus became that final sacrifice as an ultimate plan from God to free us from sin and eternal condemnation. This happened on that cross. And today, because of Jesus and what he did, we don't have to do anything. We have gotten that free gift from God. And that is Jesus being a sacrifice for our sins. So as you go through the rest of the day, think about this, what Jesus did for you, what God did for you. And I thank you for the two minutes with PJ.